I'm Niels Pudewils. I come from Germany and live nearby Frankfurt and I work here in Saudi Arabia as a landscape architect since 13 years. Initially it was curiosity and it still is curiosity about the country and a friend of mine asked me if I'm interested in to support the office he is working in uh, as a landscape architect and that's what I'm doing until today. I did not know much about Saudi Arabia. Of course I checked a little bit about uh, or investigated a little bit about the size but uh, in Germany these days um, there was not so much information uh, so I was um, I was teased from my from my colleagues with uh, huge 4x4 vehicles and some uh, opportunities to have uh, to go to, out to the desert, do some dune bashing there and working on large scale projects with huge excavators and bulldozers doing some uh, landscaping which involves heavy machinery due to the earthworks but uh, all over um, it sounded to me quite interesting so I took the opportunity to go here. My first impression was I arrived here and all I knew was that I get picked up uh, from a person I do not know um, and I arrived in a country which I uh, did not know before. I knew that I will be in somewhere in a hotel and I arrived very late night uh, so I did not see much and on the next day I found myself in a complete new environment. I was picked up um, from my colleague and was introduced to the site and uh, I was very excited and of course I was a little, uh, yeah, how do you say, not, not, not afraid but it was a mixture between curiosity and, and excitement and uh, going to the site and seeing the construction site where I was supposed to work for the first time and uh, the new environment, uh, that was really, uh, uh, yeah, I was full of uh, impressions the first uh, two weeks about that new environment, which I did not understand so far where I am I in now. All I knew is I'm, I need to take care about the design. I have to uh, implement it on site. And I was, uh, let's say, the representative of the client. Of course, I uh, uh, was in close contact at all time with the, with the client. And I coordinated all aspects of the design with the site team. This was a team of engineers. We were around about 75 engineers. Uh, all from different countries all over the world and uh, I was the only European or let's say Westerner among a team of uh, engineers and that was that was really cool it was uh, it was really really fun to um, yeah, get in touch with all the different men mentalities uh, to understand uh, their background to understand uh, their way of thinking the key, uh, it's quite universal from, from my point of view. The most important aspect from my side, uh, which I, uh, is respect. M mutual respect and never, lose, never to lose the respect. Um, persons you meet the first time, uh, they, of they very often have a completely different background which you do not know or which I'm not aware of. So. Um, so respect by every means, uh, it doesn't matter for me if it is an engineer, a prince, a king uh, or a simple worker on site. So my task and my duty is to respect everybody.
initially, during my first years, I did not have much chance uh, to go, go around uh, Saudi Arabia. And after 12 years, finally, I got the opportunity to, make, to travel around Saudi Arabia for three weeks. But, um, yeah, the reason was uh, I did not want to travel alone. And um, so it took me a while to convince uh, a friend of mine to travel together with me. I've been in the Oman previously with him, so I wanted to travel with him together uh, through Saudi Arabia, and that's what we did. So we made, uh, we made a full round trip, a road trip, uh, around 6,000 kilometers in the northwest of, northwest of Saudi Arabia. So, uh, we started uh, from in Riyadh, from Riyadh uh, to Al Ula. From Al Ula, we went uh, up to Tabuk uh, uh, via Wadi Disa, and uh, from from there, from uh, from Tabuk, uh, we went up to Hail, and then we uh, drove to the uh, coast of the Red Sea, and we drove all along the uh, Red Sea down to uh, to Medina. From Medina, we went uh, through the uh, to the Khyber volcanic area. That was quite interesting. And um, from the volcanic area, we went down to Jeddah. From Jeddah to Tabuk, on the way to Al Ula, um, 80 kilometers away from Hail, and 150 kilometers before Al Ula, um, I had a failure in the power strain of the car, and oil was leaking out of uh, out of the car like hell. So I had to stop immediately the car. And uh, luckily, the car did not burn down completely because the oil was dropping on the uh, on the exhaust. And then uh, the most remarkable moment was I took my mobile phone and discovered I have 4G. Okay. So that means I don't have an issue at all because I can make calls as much as I like. And um, that's what I did. I made a couple of calls until I managed to, uh, to get a new car in the middle of the desert. And the rental company made an excellent job to bring me, to bring me a car after 16 hours from a city 600 kilometers away from the spot I've been. Then we went back to, uh, to Riyadh, and uh, that was uh, a very um, impressive uh, journey, and impressive by the scale of the country, and also about the beauty of the country, which is not visible on the first sight. As a landscape architect, I'm I'm very much uh, used to read uh, landscape and the. Um, uh, the genesis of the landscape, how it, how it developed, from where it comes from, which tectonic processes are underlying the landscape. So you have, you have the sea level, then you have the, uh, the, uh, the granite sub-base elevated, ex exposed somewhere. Then uh, some volcanoes penetrated the, the limestone and covered uh, the landscape over square kilometers with uh, basalt and to to drive through these uh, landscapes for for hours of course i visited the the national museum and uh, the masmak palace uh, that's that's a must see a must do uh, in riyadh of course i uh, visited all these places and um, now since i let's say i saw almost a lot not all but a lot of places in riyadh I make bigger circles and I drive down to the uh, Pigeon Towers and the edge of the world is also a very common thing. Uh, whenever a friend uh, comes or a new colleague arrives, the first thing um, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I want to do is show them at the edge of the world and uh, there you can see the beauty of the, of the landscape, the stunning uh, width of the of the landscape, the, the scale of the of the landscape. The 
capital city it uh, developed and the speed of uh, development is uh, also it's breathtaking um, and uh, it's basically it's loud vibrant very dynamic uh, very lively and uh, evolving it's it's like it's like a, um, it, a Riyadh, uh, the garden city, and uh, to see that the, uh, the city itself gets greener and greener, uh, that's also a development which I appreciate very much. Each month in Japan, of course, listen to electronic music, uh, the Soundstorm Festival.